Hi guys, this is Steve and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Zoho Sites. Zoho Sites requires no coding knowledge for building up your own website, so if you want to learn how, I would recommend you to watch this tutorial to the end. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. First, you need to create your own account from Get Started. However, I will just sign in because I already have an account. I prefer using Google because it's faster and easier in signing in. And I will pick my own account and start. Once you, you sign in, it will ask you about some information like the name of your company and the, its type. And it will ask you to choose a theme to start your website. So I will name my website name Alaska, for example and I will choose it as a business company. Then I will choose a theme. It's important to choose a theme which represents your company. So I will search for a theme that has some ice or ice mountains or something like this. And here it's, this one is perfect. If you wanna see it before editing it, you can press on live demo and you will see how the website look like from the inside. It's still loading. I will give it just a couple of seconds and here we go. So you can navigate through your website and if you are satisfied with it, you can just press on customize. So let's start. It will ask you to pick the colors of the theme. I, I will just uh, choose the standard colors. Then it will ask you about the font. So you can choose the font you want. Then it will ask you about the header settings. So you can choose the header you want and finally, the banner settings and if you are satisfied you can press on finish and start editing on your website almost there and here we are so basically you can uh, navigate through your website and to start editing you can navigate to this builder sign, which contains some options like adding section, adding saved sections, elements, page, and blog, blog uh, post. So if you want to add a section, you can just press on section and you will find some uh, pre-designed sections for you. If you want to add any of these sections, you can just drag it and scroll down till you are satisfied with the place that you want to place your section, then you can drop. If you want to delete it, you can just press on this trash icon and it's gone. You can also add elements. It gives you an option to select the type of element, whether it's text, image, icon, buttons, content, and more. You can also add uh, a page. If you click on page, it will ask you Okay, this uh, this template will not uh, give me the option to add a page since it uh, contains the maximum amount of pages. However, if you use another theme which gives you the option to add pages, you can add it from here and it will just ask you about the name of the page and the URL. Next is the blog post. You can create a blog by pressing on create a blog here. And here is your blog. You can edit the title by double clicking on it here. You can edit the heading, you can edit the text, you can edit whatever you want. So this is basically your blog and it's added to your template. So let's return to the home panel. And here you can find your blog on the top menu, add it successfully. So this is the builder. Uh, icon. Now let's start editing on the text which is which already exists in the template. So if you want to edit on any text, you can just double click on it. And here you can, no, this is an image, sorry. I will just navigate downward to any text like this one. You can double click on it. You can change anything in the text. You can also manipulate its properties like the size, like the, the underlining, like uh, the font and many characteristics here. It's up to you. You can also edit uh, the image by clicking on it. 
you can click on it and you can choose this sign it will open the settings through which you can change your image you can change alignment you can change size you can uh, even animate it from here You can change its background, its border, and you can change the image itself by clicking on change image. And here it gives you two options, whether to op open image library through which you can navigate through preset images provided uh, by Zoho sites, or you can upload your image from here. I will just open image library and I will search for the word Alaska and, and see the relevant pictures. This one is good enough. I will insert it. If it did not change, if, no, it changed, uh, it just takes a few seconds. If you want, yeah, that's it. Here it is. You can also uh, resize the image by selecting it and manipulating it from the borders here. You can also change the style, like circle or none. You can change the size into fit, so it automatically adjusted to the most suitable size perfect now let's add a button here from the builder element button it added it to the end i will just undo and return to the top and add element button but here i will not click i will just drag and drop here so let's adjust it from this icon and choose the label to be read more here I will adjust the link change link and adjust it to redirect me to the blog and I will save so if I basically clicked on this button it will redirect me to my blog Perfect. We will we will try it uh, in the preview at the end of this tutorial. You can also um, edit the footer by choosing Edit Footer from here, and it will allow you to access the elements of the footer. If you if you are done changing your elements, you can return back to by, to a page by pressing on Edit Page. There is also uh, the visual editor here by clicking on it. It will allow you to uh, control uh, the the characteristics of your templates, like the fonts, like the color size, the colors, and so on and so forth. So it's loading now, and we will see what it what it's capable of doing. So here you can change your presets, your colors, you can change your header and banner and footer settings, which we adjusted at the end uh, at the start of this tutorial. So if you change your mind and you want to change one of these characteristics, it's up to you. It's not an end game. You can change it anytime you want once you are done you can press on save and if you are not satisfied you can press on reset and you can choose whether to reset to the last saved configuration or to the template default you can also let's back to the builder you can also save from here so that you can create a backup through which you can re reset your template to the last saved uh, copy so once you are done editing your website you can preview it from here and you can see how it looks like before publishing it. So this is basically how our website looks like. You can scroll down and see more. The image here is the old one since I reset to the last saved uh, version, which did not contain uh, the image. Uh, so, uh, if I clicked on this button, it will redirect me to the blog. So perfect, it's functioning well. So now it's ready to be published. I will press on publish here. And it will ask me about the subdomain, so let's write Alaska. Unfortunately, it's taken, so I will add a number like Alaska 10. And it's available. You can also buy a new domain from here. However, I'm going to publish using this domain and 
let's press on publish and see what will happen and voila your changes have been up published so let's press on the website to make sure that it's functioning uh, properly and here is our website Perfect, you have created your own website in a matter of minutes. There you have it, a beginner's guide for using Zoho sites. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this guide helpful and informative in your website creation journey. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and see you soon in the next videos.